We had to blow the radiator out in the eight or uh, 748. Big kudos to John Deere on opening up this front up here. That fan swings out. I got just a bolt in there holding it in right now. When we crank it up, let it uh, blow some of this mess out. Good Lord. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you riding, I dub them. I don't do discussions, I'm bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust it. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging. And I'ma need all of my dollars on corpus, so hand me the money, I divvy the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me Like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's word of the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing I know I've been missing, I needed some personal time Fuck all the pictures, dimensions I don't with your digits, I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause bitch, bitch I, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Little bit of different thinning application that we're doing today this stand here before anybody says anything that hardwood right there is a merchantable piece of hardwood in my area and in this track I'm having to cut them out so this stand of timber here was planted in 1995 and it has not been first thin ever reverse crew in here to it as you can see, there is no rows either way you want to look at it. It's pretty open. 748 coming by. It's pretty open, but it's uh there's no rows, none. It's just a what what you see right here is what I'm looking at when I'm cutting. So what I started doing yesterday, this is the, the patch of timber, uh, what video would y'all have watched that? I think that would have been Friday's video. Y'all would have seen where the rain had come and you saw all the water on the ground and everything like that. Okay, well that's this same stand of timber that we were trying to get into then. Well that's taking time off for the weekend, for Labor Day and everything like that. We got some... Uh, Good drying weather. We're in a hell of a heat wave right now. Uh, like today, supposed to be 98, 99 degrees. Actual temperatures. Uh, 
feels like it's supposed to be like 108, 110, something. But it's it's crazy hot, and it's been that way for uh, about a week now. Well, since it went, since it rained, and um, so it, it just dries really, really fast. Um, and the humidity levels have dropped some, and then we've got a good north wind coming in now, thanks to the hurricane Dorian or Doran or however you want to say it and one over at tore the Bahamas up but anyway so what is what is going on here is you basically just have to leave a strip of timber in, in a width of 35 feet so from where those tops and you know I got the wood piled up against the edge right there to this edge over here it needs to be 35 feet wide and then the track machine can actually reach like 22 feet out from its track side you know full boom and uh it has a 27 27 feet and 10 inch reach uh or boom length on it should i say but whenever you turn 90 degrees off of your tracks you're going to be uh got a tree drop on himself anyway when you turn 90 degrees on your tracks and reaching straight away from your machine or 90 degrees on, on top of your tracks you're you're actually going to be at like, if i remember right it's like 20 feet 20 and a half feet somewhere in there so uh you need 35 feet here to where you can you know your boom strokes will overlap you know you'll get over halfway from this row and then over halfway from this row and you get all of the middle thin because you, you see how thick it is and for 24 years old it grew really well a lot of the timber survived really well um, it did not grow very fat but it should just take off like wildfire now that we're getting in here and kind of opening this up but anyway so it's more difficult to log stuff like this and i know some people this is all they do but it is more difficult to log stuff like this because everything is not laid out nice and easy for you but you can see we just we get in here and we open up a row and we go as straight as possible. You can see it kind of does a little deviation up there. But you try and keep the row as straight as possible and just wide enough for the machines to work down. And like I said, a strip of timber 35 feet in between the two rows. And uh, you still thin it the same way. We're actually gonna thin this a little bit thinner than what we you know we're normally shooting for a 75 basal area this year we're going to be shooting for a uh, 60 60 to 65 basal area because the next time this is cut it'll be clear cut They're, they'll come in here this will be clear cut at the same time that that second thinning over there that we just got done because this is on the back side of our second thinning the second thinning will be clear cut everything up front that we've thinned out will be clear cut so it's uh Everything, you know, next time this is, this is, we'll have a machine on it. It will be clear cut and it'll probably be clear cut in, uh, I'm going to say five, five years or so. And this stuff is 24 years old. So you're going to be looking at like, uh, you know, 29 years old, 30 years old. So they'll probably wait, you know, five or six years before they thin it again or clear cut it. When they thin it again, it'll be clear cut next time. So, anyway, that's just kind of what we got going on today. Today is Thursday. No, today is Wednesday. Yeah. Today is Wednesday. Let's go see if we can get a little bit closer to the track launcher without him throwing a tree on us. This is also something else. Um, when you go to getting into this kind of timber like this, it's really long and whippy. 
And if you go to overloading yourself, you will tear the world down. Like you heard all them trees breaking there. He tangled all them tops up. He wasn't taking his time with that. And he snapped tops out. Snapped again because now it's, it's weakened the tree. And he's not being easy with it when he's picking it up. So it's once you weaken the tree, once you break it, it just slivers the tree up further, and it, it's uh, it becomes an aggravating mess. Anyway, so that's, that's kind of what's going on right now. Not kind of, that is that's, We're doing something different. Still, I mean, it's the same thing, so to speak. It's just a, a different form of first thinning. A little more aggravating for people that are not used to working this kind of stuff. And after you, you know, like myself, you get 12 years or so doing this. It's just another day, but I know that my uh, track cutter operator, he is not having the best of time in this. So. I'm gonna get back up in here and uh, I'm probably gonna head back out towards the truck. I think I got enough down rows cut ahead of him to last him the rest of the day. And last row I started over there, it started getting wet give it the rest of the day to try and run off some and then maybe try again tomorrow and here we may have to finish cutting it with a track cutter but anyway hang out we'll be back in a minute you see the loader he's, he's taking a break the skitter driver the other loader man i threw him on the skitter it's a nice thing about having somebody that can do two machines is uh he'll he got on the other skitter to help <clears throat> dig the trash out of the set you see how you got that big old how Michael got that big old pile of trash back here he's uh just got the set pushed out really nice and pretty we like keeping our sets pretty clean as we go that way they don't have a whole bunch to do to one when it's uh when it's time to move on somewhere else we can get get cleaned up get going pretty good and then the other guy he'll help tote some trash and uh, bring some wood up as well but anyway so so where we're at so I guess I need to I, I've got a lot of gap I guess you'd say from our Friday video I think it was Friday I can't even remember when our last video was uh, today I published one which is Wednesday. The holiday got me all jacked up and everything. So, okay. We had a video today, which is Wednesday, the Wednesday after Labor Day. And we're talking about the track cutters and everything like that. Something I'll go ahead and say on that, and it's kind of ironic. I done had the video pretty well done, and I couldn't, like, undo it. Uh... I mean, I guess I could have, but until the issues are completely there, or completely, I guess you'd say, fixed, my opinion on it shouldn't mat, you know, shouldn't hurt me expressing my opinion too bad. It may, but it'll be okay, I guess. But uh, so I was contacted yesterday afternoon about some of the issues. You know, this was before the video was published. The the stuff that I was talking about with the the deer stuff, with their settings and whatnot, as far as leaving the the factory the way they they have been, 
they I will say John Deere is working on one of the issues that I, I spoke on in the video in in, uh, in our previous video which from this video to be the last video y'all have watched um, let me zoom y'all out and y'all can just kind of watch the real pretty blue sky till the loader man goes back to work so anyway uh, Deer, Deer is aware of those issues that I spoke on and, and uh, it was a pretty coincidental thing that they that I was contacted by them yesterday afternoon and, and getting some feedback on some of the things that I feel needs to be improved uh, in, in, in some of the areas that I touched on in yesterday's video so uh, it's not that they saw the video and then called me you know it's just that apparently these these issues are known and they're working on them that's why I like working with John Deere it's it's uh it's cool to be a not so much a part of it I mean it is cool to be a part of it of what they're doing but it's it's cool to see that that they're on top of their issues that they have so but anyway so where we're at for the we're in, tying some things in the the track cutter the John Deere track cutter did not actually blow an injector um, here a few weeks ago y'all saw where they come out and change the thermostat whenever they change the thermostat they got to undo a bunch of stuff for the radiator and get stuff pulled open and I believe that they got up a, up against some of the uh... anyway they had to open up a bunch of stuff on the engine compartment on the front which would have been around the alternator area and in my wholehearted opinion they moved a wire that did not need to be moved and it got into the number one injector line and had been rubbing on it until it rubbed a hole in the injector line causing it to blow out and arced the battery cable for the alternator deal arced it out at the same time so we're very lucky that the machine did not burn to the ground when all this took place um, <clears throat> so yeah that was it was not an injector it was a a wire chafing issue and it's kind of odd that that just all of a sudden happened in that area after there was some work done in that area so It could be human error. It could not. You know, it, I'm not. I'm not going to sit there and say that it was wholeheartedly their fault, but it could be. But besides that, so the like I said, the 853 did not have an injector issue. Uh, we got the 718 put back together, and uh, got all that the, the new parking brake set up in it. If, if I'm, I'm trying to remember, I think I was already doing the YouTube channel. I might not have been, but uh, several months ago, I had a, uh, I had a bolt back out of that, that parking brake device, and it let the U-joint come unsplined from it. And I think that it warped that shaft in because the drive shaft had always had a little bit of a wiggle. I think it warped that little input shaft and that's what it led to that braking. Uh, if you have a 718, uh, we did not know this. Our old one that we used to have did not have that on it. But that is a, uh, it's like a 90 weight field reservoir inside that parking brake it holds less than a quart about a half a quart really is what we ended up putting in there but it holds oil and that oil has to be changed like every 2,000 hours or something and that machine has 14,000 hours and ours failed uh, so that could have been part of that and then also uh, those old ones are the new ones that, that that are on the machines do not have greasable uh, bearings on the on the input shaft side of things 
you're supposed to have a nose and a rear bearing and those were not uh, greasable on the old ones and the new one that we purchased we ended up install they they now come back with greasable bearings and they include a kit that has the little uh, lines and stuff to add the grease lines to the machine now they actually want you to like drill a hole in the side kind of in the center section there and weld in some metal bong bongs whatever you want to call it and run the hoses to those metal bungs inside the machine we just made some lines up and run them through the center section there kind of about where the the uh, center pins would be at to be greased and you'll grease it from that location now so well, that's some long stuff y'all look at that that's some long long stuff that's that first thing in it that i was telling you about a while ago is it's 1995 planting stuff. You can see it's not very big around, but that stuff is long. It's 24 years old, never been thinned. It's long. So I think that should kind of catch us up on uh, any gaps we may have been having. So y'all should all be kind of caught up on where the jobs, where the jobs at up to today. As far as our our weekly load goal goes for this week we are on track to get our 60 we will work Saturday since we took off Monday that'll give us our five days uh, hopefully Saturday we'll get an extra truck and we'll instead of having to do four rounds which my trucks are done with four rounds of wood by one o'clock <clears throat> so hopefully I'll have uh, an extra truck Saturday and we can do three rounds and do our 12 loads and put three in the pile and go to the house Y'all can see there's well over three loads over there already. There's probably a load in between the two loaders and then there's There's probably three and a half to four loads Over there and we're gonna pile up for probably another hour here Getting things prepared for tomorrow or we have that gives us the ability to sit in the work truck a few minutes in the morning time where we don't have to just bail out wide open you know the uh the load count is on count you know is right on track we've got 12 yesterday we've got 12 today so we're setting at 24 loads for two days of work um if it don't look like we can get an extra truck for saturday what we'll probably end up doing is i'll get the truck since they're you know running really early just go ahead and do an extra round during the week and i'll probably tomorrow or friday and that will make it to where they only have to get three loads on Saturday. Truck drivers are usually a go for that kind of stuff. But, um, so yeah, it's, you know, we're having a really good week. Uh, we're, we should, we'll probably end up getting close to cleaning this up here tomorrow. And then we're going to move approximately... Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be about an eight mile move straight through the woods. <clears throat> Do some more really nice second thinning. And then if all works out, because we're in a, a bit of a dry weather pattern right now. If all works out. We'll, uh, we'll have a patch of 1998 first thinning. <clears throat> there, there's a lot of timber in this area that that uh, my timber company has been needing to get cut for several years now. And it just it stays so wet in here. And then people that were working bef here before me didn't really uh, push the wet ground stuff a whole bunch. So we... Uh, 
we don't mind the wet ground. I mean, I don't necessarily like doing it, but I will do it to work this better wood because you can fight a little bit of a wet issue from time to time and work good wood and still come out better, so. So nothing too crazy exciting going on right now, just a normal average work week. Uh, so far, all the machines are staying together. We got everything, you know, finally finished, put back together last Friday. Uh, you just have those weeks sometimes where it just seems like nothing goes right. And last week was one of those weeks, so. But we made we, we still turned out a really decent week for for four days of hauling we we uh hauled 50 loads so that that was really good if we'd have got our five days in we'd have we'd have been uh well over 60. should have been about 64 if i were thinking correctly here because we were at we had uh 14 loads two different days last week so yeah y'all be safe out in the heat stay cool Thanks for watching. All the new subscribers, thanks for coming aboard. Y'all helped me get to 2,000. And uh, so long as nobody balks on my idea, I'm, uh, I'm going to try and do something really cool to thank everybody. Well, thank somebody. Well, it'll be a contest, and then there'll be a winner. And, and uh, it'll be something really cool for somebody to, to be a part of. And, uh, yeah, I would, uh, see, I, I greatly appreciate all the support, all the new people, all the old faithful watchers. I've got a few guys that, that, that watch religiously and comment on every video, and I appreciate them. And I enjoy hearing from y'all every day or every video, should I say. Uh, without y'all, you know, the, the channel really wouldn't be nothing, so... We all, we all appreciate it. Lots of people are uh, starting to take notice to this. There's a Facebook page y'all can also go check out. It's just Thomas Johnson Media. Uh, you can go check that out and and like it to see some pictures and stuff that I take from the job. And uh, I'm gonna try and start doing more of a like a story type thing that they that Facebook offers through that. Um, so yeah, I've sat here and rambled on quite a bit. Some of y'all may enjoy listening to me, who knows, but y'all got to listen to me ramble and watch the old Mickey on the 234B with the American flag flying high on top of it. That's one cool machine. But anyway, we uh, like I said, we appreciate everybody. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all go drop a comment down below. Say hi. Tell me to screw off if you just absolutely feel it necessary to do it. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, I also have Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, Thomas Johnson. I believe it's Thomas Johnson 15 or underscore 15 G Junior Jr. Y'all can look in my description. I've got a uh, the the username inside of the description, and uh, yeah. Other than that, I think I think it's about time to wrap this one up. Hope y'all are having a great week, great week after uh, Memorial Day. Those of y'all that are going to have a short week again, because you don't have to work Saturday is great for y'all. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll do two videos back to back since I didn't get anything out for uh, Monday for y'all, with it being Labor Day, and I was beat down from racing. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the little racing clips. If y'all would like more of the racing stuff, let me know. I'll try and do some more. Uh, shop videos explaining what we're doing and stuff should be getting air conditioning installed in the shop for the race car soon so that would make it 
a whole lot nicer to go hang out in the shop. Right now, it's just, you'll go to the shop and it's like 112 inside the shop because it's all uh, metal. I mean, it's been shut up all day long in this heat. It's, it's, it's just hot down here right now. But anyway, those of y'all on the East Coast, Dorian that may be coming through. I think y'all are gonna be all right now. I think, uh, I think, I think, uh, you're just gonna get some rain, a little wind, a little rain. Hopefully, it won't get too bad for y'all though. Y'all be safe over that way though, and uh, y'all come back for the next one. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Again, I appreciate everybody. And uh, until the next time we make another video, y'all stay cool. Go watch some more of my old playlist. And uh, log on. We'll catch y'all next time.